Hello, my friend. Welcome to this session. We'll be talking about area of circles. And remember, there's a difference between the formulas of getting circumference and area of circle. If it is circumference, we are using pi times diameter. Now we are talking about area, which is pi r squared, meaning it is pi times radius times radius. So these are the formulas which we use for circumference and the area, and you can see the difference. When we are talking about circumference, we talk about diameter, but when you are talking about area, you use radius, that is pi r squared. Let's go to our examples. Example number one. What is the area of the finger below? Take pi as 22 over 7. So the first thing is you say area of a circle is equal to pi r squared, meaning pi times r times r. r standing for radius. So the pi we are told to use 22 over 7 times the radius is the length from the center until you touch the circumference. So you multiply by 21 times 21. Pi times r squared. r squared means it must appear two times. That is 21 times 21. By 7, 1. By 7, 3. 22 times 3, you get 66 times 21. 1 times 6, you get 6. 1 times 6, you get 6. We are two with this one cancel. Where we have place value of 1, we have 0. We go to place value of 10. So 2 times 6, you get 12. 2 carry 1. 2 times 6, you get 12 plus 1, you get 13. Here we have 0, we have 0. You add, we have 6. 6 plus 2, you have 8. 0 plus 3, you have 3. 0 plus 1, you have 1. So our area is equal to 1,386 meters square. Remember we are talking about area, so it is meters square. Example number 2, find the area of the circle below. And remember this one as a decimal point. How do you get area? of a circle, pi r squared. Pi is 22 over 7 times the radius will be half of the diameter and half of this is 1.4. So you write as a fraction to be 14 over 10 times 14 over 10 pi r squared by 7, 1 by 7, 2. Don't interfere with the zeros at the bottom. Just multiply 1 times 10, you get 10 times 10, you get 100 in our denominator. 22 times 2, you get 44 times 14. We have 44 times 14. 4 times 4, you get 6, carry 1. 4 times 4, you get 16 plus 1, you have 17. That's all this one, that's all this one. We have 0. 1 times 4, you get 4. 1 times 4, you get equal. You add, you add 6. 7 plus 4, you get 11. 1 carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus, you get 2 plus 4. You get 6. The answer is not 616, my friend. Remember, we are supposed to divide by 100. Since we have two zeros in our denominator, it means we are going to have two digits after the decimal point or two decimal places. So our answer becomes 6.16 centimeters square because it is area. So that is the answer for our second example. Let's go to the third example. Find the area of three of the three-quarter circle below. This is a three-quarter circle, three quarter, you need three quarters, one quarter, another one, another one. What is the formula of getting a full circle? Pi 
are square, but this one is not a full circle. It is three quarter of a circle. So you say three quarter. That is how you get area of a three quarter of a circle. So you are supposed to write three over four times use pi is 22 over 7 times 22 over 7 times radius this is the radius from the center to the circumference from the center of the circle to the circumference that is 14 multiply by 14 times 14 because of radius squared by 2 2 by 2 11 by 2 1 by 2 7 by 7 1 by 7, 1. In the denominator, we have 1 times 1. We just have 1 in our denominator. Then in our numerator, we have 4 times 11. Sorry, we have 3 times 11. You get 33. Then you multiply by this 14. So we have 33 times 14. 4 times 3, you get 12. 2 carry 1. 4 times 3, you get 12, plus 1, you get 13. Cancel this one, put a 0, you also cancel this. 1 times 3, you get 3. 1 times 3, you get 3. 2 plus 0, you have 2. 3 plus 3, you have 6. 3 plus 1, you have 4. And our answer area becomes 462 centimeters squared. Centimeters squared. Hope we are still together. Let's go to the example number four. What is the area of the same circle below? Take pi as 3.14, meaning our pi will be 314. Turn this one into a fraction, it will be over 100. Then remember, you are told this one is a semicircle, meaning area of a whole circle is supposed to be pi r square. But this one is r of a circle, meaning it is r. So we are r times 20 sorry, times the pi is 3.14 meaning it is 314 over 100 times radius squared if the diameter is 20 the radius will be r of the diameter which is 10 the other side is 10 so you have 10 times 10 by 0 by 0 by 0 by 0 by 2, 1, by 2, 157. 1 times 157, you get 157 times 1 times 1, you just get 157 over 1 times 1 is 1. So our area is 157 centimeters squared. Our final example. Find the area of the quadrant below. Quadrant meaning a quarter of a circle. This is a quarter of a circle. The full circle, you are supposed to use this formula to get area of a full circle. Pi r squared. But this one is a quarter. So you use a quarter of a circle. A quarter turns 22 over 7. Remember, if you change this one to improve fraction, it will be 7 times 3, you get 21, plus 1, you get 22 over 7, times the radius. Remember, this is the center of the circle, so this is 14. So you multiply by 14 times 14. By 2, 2. By 2, 11. By 2, 1. By 2, 7. By 7, 1. By 7, 1. So we have 11 times 14. 11 times 14 or 14 times 11, you have 4, 1, that's so this one, 0, you have 4, 1, so you get 4, 5, 1. So the area of our quadrant is 154 meters squared. So if you follow these examples, you can attempt any question pertaining area of circles, semicircle, three quarter of a circle, and even a quarter of a circle. Thank you very much for watching. Be blessed. Bye bye.